Welcome, my friend, to the special video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, and I'm so happy to be with you today. I know, my friend, that even as we spend time together, you are going to be blessed. God is going to do something mighty in your life. My friend, even as I've been praying and seeking God, the Lord has instructed me specifically to do prayers to deal with a bad self-image, bad mindsets, bad outlook on life, and bad thought patterns that are limiting you. My friend, God wants you to walk in your full potential. But in order to walk in your full potential, you have to deal with all the false thoughts and the false imaginations and the lies that were embedded into you since you were young so that you can believe the truth and you can walk on another level. My friend, when you are young, people, maybe your friends, maybe your parents, maybe your siblings, or just people around you might have said or done things to you that caused you to believe lies or unfounded beliefs about yourself or your capabilities. And my friend, if you allowed these false beliefs to form part of your thought patterns and your outlooks on life and your beliefs concerning yourself and your capabilities, then chances are you're not operating at the capability and the potential that God actually placed in you. My friend, the Bible makes it clear that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities. So who really is the main cause or the culprit of these lies and false thoughts and imaginations that were embedded in you when you were younger? My friend, the answer is simple. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. So even though they might have used uh, the avenue of a human being, a person, whether it was your parents or whether it was someone around you, ultimately the ones who we wrestle against are evil spirits. These are disembodied spirits and their very nature is corrupted and always causes them to be in a state that kills, steals and destroys. My friends, evil spirits, disembodied spirits are corrupted and unable to tell the truth. They are specialists in telling lies, in embedding lies, in, in embedding false imaginations, false things that cause you to be limited. One thing I can tell you, my friend, if you allow me to tell you the truth, is that I can say for certain that those people who said and did those things to you or against you were just puppets under the influence of disembodied spirits. The truth is that you are not what the false, unregenerated mind of anyone thinks you are, but you are what your God, your Creator, says and wants you to be. What does God say you are, my friend? Let's take a look at the Bible. Let's just look around. I want to give you some verses and I want to show you from the Bible who you are in God's eyes. We're going to take our first reading from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, the ESV version. And it says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. My friend, in Christ you are a new creation. The old has passed away. I want to take another reading from the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 and 27, also the ESV version. And it says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. My friend, you are made in God's image. I want to read you another scripture from Psalm 139 verse 14. And it says, I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works, my soul knows that very well. My friend, this clearly shows us that each and every one of us, including you, are fearfully and wonderfully made. So don't look down on yourself. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. God never made a mistake when he made you. I also want to read you another scripture and it's also from Psalm 139 verse 1 to verse 24. I'm not going to read everything, but I'm just going to read you a portion. When you're free, I want you to go through all these scriptures. Just repeat this video over and over again. Repeat this video and even as you repeat it, just take it and allow this to go in and to change your mindset and to, to dislodge all those lies and those false imaginations that have been set in by the enemy in order to limit you. And this is what the Word of God says. Basically, it says, O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. My friend, God knows you better than you know yourself. There's some things about yourself that you yourself might not know. But God knows you better than you know yourself. He knows all the potentials that are put inside of you. He knows everything because He created you. He is your creator. 
so you must follow him. Follow what his instruction manual about your life says you are. And his instruction manual about your life is none other than the word of God. I want to read you another scripture from 1 John chapter 3, verse 1. It's the ESV version. And it says, See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God. And so we are. My friend, you are a child of God. I want to read you another scripture and it's from uh, the book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. It says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me, through Christ who strengthens me. My friend, you have divine ability in Christ. Those things that you thought were impossible for you because of some of the things that you've been through in your past, they are actually possible. You have divine ability in Christ because he strengthens you to accomplish the job at hand. Another scripture I want to read to you, and it's the last scripture I'll read, and then we're going to go into a time of prayer. It comes from the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 5, and it says, Keep your life free from the love of money, and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you, and I will never forsake you. My friend, another thing that I want to share with you is God will never and has never ever left you. He is with you. You need to take this in. You need to believe that your Father, your Creator, your God will never leave you. In saying that, my friend, let's go into a time of prayer. On this channel, we always begin by lifting up the name of Jesus. So wherever you are, just begin to lift Him up in your own words. Let's pray powerful prayers. Let's touch the hem of His garment. And let's bring the miracle working power of God down in order to change our lives forevermore. Are you ready? Are you in a place where you can pray? Okay, let us begin. Just begin to lift him up in your own words until the presence of God comes. Father, you are my Lord and my God. You are my God in whom I trust. You are the one in whom we trust, Lord. Lord, thank you for this time that I can spend with my dear friend who's watching this video. Thank you for this time that we can both seek you. Thank you for this time that both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video can seek you. Thank you for this time, Lord, when we can just touch the hem of your garment. Lord, I thank you that you're such a loving God. I thank you that you love us so much. I thank you that you love my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, even as we spend time together today, Lord, let your love, let your divine love just touch the heart of my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, let them feel your presence like a blanket around them, a reassuring blanket around them, just showing them how much you love them, Lord, each and every one who will watch this video. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for my dear friend who is watching this video. Lord, if there's any thoughts of guilt and shame that my dear friend is struggling with, give them relief. For your word shows us clearly that there is no guilt and condemnation for those who are in Christ. But give them peace in their heart even as they come to you. Give them a desire to seek you. Give them a desire for godliness and godly ways and holiness. And even as that desire is instilled in them, let the blessing manifest, the blessing that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow, the blessing that only you can give, dear God. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Precious Holy Spirit, I welcome you on the scene. You are here and I just give over to you. Less of me and more of you. Come and take over control. Touch the heart of my dear friend who's watching this video. I pray this in the name of Jesus and I thank you in advance for it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. My friend, the presence and the power of God is here. There's such a sweet presence of the Lord. And I trust and believe that even as we pray now, God is going to do something. If there's ever been hurts or pains of the past, God is going to set you free. God is going to deliver you. God is going to take you to a deeper level in Him. Those bad thoughts and bad self-image, I trust and believe. I have faith. Even as you pray along with this video, even as you comment in the comment section so that I can pray for you later in my, in my prayer time, I trust and believe that God is going to do something mighty. Are you ready? Let us begin to pray. Lord, I pray for total deliverance of my dear friend who's watching this video. Total deliverance from any false thoughts, mindsets and outlooks that have been embedded in my dear friend's mind who is watching this video that are limiting my dear friend from reaching their full potential in you. Let there be total deliverance right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let all such thoughts or negative uh, lies that have been embedded in the mind of my dear friend just be dislodged and removed and flushed out. And let your word go in right now, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, 
let my dear friend watching this video, whether it's my dear brother who will watch this video, or my dear sister, let them feel good about themselves, Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Let them feel good to be the person that you made them to be. Let them love who you made them to be. I pray this in the name of Jesus and I thank you for it. Hallelujah. My friend, the power and the presence of God is here. Just continue in a time of prayer. Just agree with me. Just agree with me. And even as you agree with me, I trust and believe that God will bless you. There's power in agreement. Now, I want to pray for you. Lord, I pray for my dear friend who is watching this video. Lord, set my dear friend free from the grips of any lying spirit that is deceiving them or lying to them about their self-image. Lord, whenever they try to make progress, then this lying spirit comes around and tries to lie to them, to keep them back. Lord, I pray from today onwards, the day that my dear friend has watched this video, let total deliverance come over the life of my dear friend from any such lying spirit about their self-image and let them be completely delivered. I pray this in Jesus' name. If you are blessed by these videos and you would like to give a seed, feel free to do so. The link is in the description. All the seeds and the money that comes in goes towards the work of the gospel. And we really appreciate your giving. In saying that, it brings us to the end of the video. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.